Welcome to episode two of the best Gansat series there is on YouTube. I'm your host, Ashima Singh, and you're watching my channel, Aesthetic Academic. I'm a medical student that loves fashion, and I also love pondering the philosophical quandary of aesthetics. If you haven't watched episode one yet, I highly recommend you go and do that. In that video, I do a reading of the exact essay that I wrote in the Gansat that got me accepted into Australia's top university. In that episode, I also explain how the series is gonna work and how you can get the most out of it. To catch you up, the main focus of the series is to have fun and to help you understand that the GAMSAT is not a scary test. It is so normal to feel like a complete dunce while you're studying for the GAMSAT, but that's just a test getting in your head. Get out of my head, stupid test. It's actually a great test, and if you study correctly, you can have a lot of fun preparing for it. If you want to improve at the GAMSAT in the most efficient way, which is focusing your time on section two, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on the learning, and click the bell icon if you'd like notifications for when I post. Do not worry. I am a complete povo gumby idiot, and I made it through. Me. So hush not chow. This video is going to be divided into three parts. In the first part, I'm going to be analyzing and giving feedback and encouragement for my friend Kaveen, who was kind enough to send me his essay. And I'm going to extract the bits of information that I feel will be useful for everyone. Secondly, I'll be providing you five prompts on the theme of democracy. And we're going to sit down and write an essay together to time. So get a drink of water, get some snacks, get yourself ready because we're going to be doing that one together. Lastly, I'll go over my essay quickly and see if there's anything useful that I can share with you guys. Alternatively, it might just be a pile of garbage, which might make you feel more okay about your pile of garbage because safety in numbers. I'll then reveal the theme for the next episode so you can start preparing for that prompt and write an even better essay next time. So thank you so much, Kerbin, for sending me with this incredible expository essay. I'm always very impressed with expository essays because it's the type of essays that I struggle with the most. I don't think I've ever successfully written one that has made sense, so good on you, great job. This piece was so awesome that it explored the dark side of democracy and if you put yourself in the shoes of a marker who's going through hundreds of essays about how wonderful democracy is, it would be really eye-catching to come across a piece that wasn't going for that angle, so that's why I think this is a great piece. My favorite thing that Kobein talked about was the negative side of having everyone vote, um, which is just not something I've ever thought about. So well done to you. I thought that was a really great point. Kobein, I'm going to be sending you a more detailed feedback, but these are the tips that I thought I could pull out to apply to everyone. So tip two for the series is do all your practice essays always to time. Kobein, I know that you gave this to me at such last minute and it was over time. That's fine. But what I would do um, next time is... If I wasn't happy with it, I'd write an essay in half an hour and then I'd be like, okay, I'm not happy with this one. And then I'd set another half an hour timer and rewrite it from the start because it's no good um, learning how to write a 56 minute essay or whatever the time is when you don't have 56 minutes in the exam. And that's an easier way or a better way to really make it a refined piece. Number three is be mindful of sentence length. Shorter is almost always clearer and clarity is all we can hope for in a half an hour essay. Ideally, you want to aim for a mix of short and long sentences, loosely alternating, but if you're in doubt, shorten and full stops are your best friend. Tip number four is don't use the same word twice in a piece. This can make your piece sound repetitive, even though it's not, so I just steer clear of doing that. You don't have much time or room for corrections at the end of the GAMSAT, so that's why um, not repeating a word is a really good one because you can quickly look over it at the end and then sub out a repetitive word for a synonym and then wonderful, it's already a little bit better. Tip number five is not to use softening words too often. For example, in the essay that I corrected, there was a sentence at the start of a paragraph that said, perhaps the most fundamental idea. And the sentence would have sounded a little bit more powerful if it had said, the most fundamental idea. Um, it's nice to have some perhapses in there, but too many can make your argument or expository sound weak. 
If you have an essay you'd like me to correct, please send it into my email address, which is in the description below, and I'd love to correct it for you. Now it's the best part of the video where we get to write our essays. So we have two and a half minutes of reading time and 30 minutes of writing time starting now.
most vital part of any essay is the introduction. Um, that is where you're going to captivate people's attention. So it's very important to have a very strong introduction. And I think I actually did very well doing a strong introduction for this piece. I'll read it out to you. COVID-19 has revealed to the world what lengths the Chinese Communist Party is willing to go to to save face. And at what cost? It's dramatic, right? You read that and you're like, ooh, what is this about? Or you know what it's about, but it's like a very powerful statement. Um, lies and propaganda, the cogs that turn a communist regime have cost thousands of lives and economically crippled millions more. Doctors in Wuhan have been prosecuted and made to disappear for spreading COVID-19 statistics. 900 citizens and counting have been arrested for collecting and disseminating their own data about the pandemic. The antidote to these abhorrent practices is to champion democracy louder than ever before. There is a new Cold War at our doorstep. Okay, that's a zinger, right? It's like making very almost outlandish but not outlandish statements that are very impactful. Um, another thing that I do, so I leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, the um, introduction, but it is clear what my essay is going to be about. It's about why democracy is superior to um, communism and using pandemic as an example. Um, another thing that I used to get hung up on, which uh, you should try to avoid doing, is that don't worry about exact statistics. Like I had said in this piece, 900 citizens and counting have been arrested. Um, I like when I started writing, I wouldn't use a statistic if I felt like I was really, really wrong or couldn't remember the precise number. But now I just round it to a similar number and use that instead because, you know, you don't have references. So what are you supposed to do? And I think that's fine. I think the real number was like 897. So yeah, 900 is fine. Another thing that you could do that I um, do when I've accidentally run out of time is that you don't want to end it mid paragraph. You still want to end it on a conclusion, whether or not that ties the whole piece together. So I realized um, that I was going to run out of time and I didn't have enough time to finish my last paragraph. So I just tied it up and tracked a conclusion on the end because um, you do that because if someone is marking it, they're most likely going to read this beginning and the end and they're often not even going to read the middle. So if you have that, at least it looks complete. So the topic for the next episode is humor. So I want you to do the best you can to research humor um, and then we're going to sit down and write a piece about humor together. And also in the meantime, please email me um, any pieces that you're proud of so I can review them for you and give you a bit of a pep talk and also try to find ways that you can improve your piece. Please remember to like and subscribe um, and please comment SOS if you want a personalized pep talk. And otherwise, I will see you in the next episode and we're going to be writing about humor. It's going to be really fun. So bring your funniest pen. Do not obey. You must be